All right, so you know how I said you can use mocha for things like blemish removal? So let's say your lead talent develops an unsightly blemish right before your shoot. It's no fun at all, it's kind of embarrassing, and makeup doesn't always cover all that stuff up, so sometimes you'll have to do paint work to get rid of that. So that's really simple in mocha, and I'll show you how to do that. Basically, what you do is you take a rotospline and you draw it right around your shape, and you roto that through the shot, and then you go ahead and track the background, you make a single clean plate, and you load that into your remove module. Okay? Now in your remove module, all you do is you select your shape, you select to use clean plates exclusively, and in this case I'd probably use linear interpolation, and then you hit render forward. So bam! You'll start to remove the shape right out of the shot, okay? And you'll be using your clean plate throughout the shot, and Mocha will just replace and adjust the lighting as you go. It's just that easy, it's the closest thing we have to black magic in our software. It's amazing. All right, so let's look at that in slow motion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an X spline and I'm going to draw and track a shape around the background. Now I'm adding new layers so that you can see what I did in my original shot. And anyway, what we're going to do is we're also going to draw a shape around the blemish and we're going to hook that blemish up to our background track. Now you'll notice that I'm only tracking a small section of the side of my face. As I've said before, if you try to track too many planes of the face, you will get poor results. So you want to track very specific planes when you are trying to do removes, because again, removes are only as good as your track. After I have created my track, I go and create a clean plate in my Remove tab. It's just as simple as clicking on the Create button. And then I take it to Photoshop. In Photoshop, I load up my clean plate clip that's been created and I zoom in so that I can do some paint work. I select my heel tool and I sample from an area of similar texture and just paint over the top of that. The heel tool in Photoshop works uh, the same way that our interpolate works in Mocha, so basically what Mocha will do is it will match the lighting over time the same way the heel tool works when I load my clean plate back in. So all I do is save out of Mocha and what happens is Mocha just automatically reloads my clean plate and I can work from there. In Mocha, I make sure that I use clean plates exclusively, and in this case I'm going to change from linear to an interpolation uh, illumination model, and the reason that is is because I found I got better results. I also did a randomize um, and dissolved edge width around the blemish in order to get a good solve, so that when I render forward I end up with results that look really natural. Now, like I said, just like the heel tool, what Mocha is doing is Mocha is looking at the area around the remove shape that I made, and it is trying to match the illumination model around that shape in order to give me good results. That's how I end up with results that vary over time even as my mouth moves and the lighting changes as I shift my face around. So it really is just that easy. It's a very simple process. It shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes to solve a shot once you have a very solid track down, but like everything, the solve that you get in the remove module is only as good as your track. So as usual guys, make sure you check your track, make sure you have good data, and you will always get a good solve. I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and if you have any questions, you can go to our forums, or you can go to our Facebook. We have a Twitter at Imagineer Systems, and we have a contact form if you have any questions. Thanks for watching guys, and have a great day!